Hey everybody, I want to do a quick sound check and just make sure that you can hear me because I am using a microphone. So if you jump on, please let me know, can you hear me? <laughs> this is really, really important, obviously, uh, to make sure that the sound is working. Let's see if we can see if it's working. Oh, here we go. There we go. I think it is working. So free social media training. I'm so excited. You guys have been asking me for this for quite a while. I did a poll uh, in my free Facebook group in my community and said, hey, what do you guys want to know the most? And they said social media. And so I put together for the month of July, we are going to be talking all about social media and how it impacts your business, how you can create more sales, create lead generation, how you can create a following with ease. So, and the sound is working. I have confirmation. So that's exciting. All right, guys. So I am super excited to be sharing with you today a couple of, well, really five steps to getting your social media started in a way that's purposeful. Often um, when people are doing their social media, they're looking around at what other people are doing. They're not sure exactly what's working and what's not working. They see other people. Like I remember when I was you know, just getting started on Facebook and I had my, um, I had my, uh, sorry guys, hang on one second. So I, um, when I first got started, I would look around and I would see people like posting like cat videos and getting all this traction, a thousand views. I'm like on a cat video and then I'd give some really good content and there'd be nothing like birds chirping. So I don't know if you guys ever have what I call social media envy, where you're looking around going, what is everybody else doing that I'm not? Or maybe you're just not sure of what you should be posting. Maybe you have a product or a service. You're a, maybe you're an online educator. You have a course. You have something that you want to sell. You're a network marketer. You're direct sales. Maybe you're a real estate agent. doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we have to attract the right clientele create sales, right? That's one thing that we need to do and be able to communicate with people and let them engage with us so that they know, like, and trust us because that's of course who people do business with people. They know, like, and trust. So if you are here uh, and you're wanting to grow your social media with ease, if you're wanting to get more leads and actually create more sales from your social media content, give me a like or a heart, give me a D -d 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 on the tap, go ahead and give me some proof that you're here. Number one, and I can see some of you have popped on. I can't see everybody, sorry guys, because of the way it works. But I would love to see uh, some feedback because I believe that um, this is a major problem with people. They really aren't sure where they should be posting, when they should be posting, what kind of content they should be posting, uh, how often they should be posting, all of that stuff. So we're gonna go through that today. So let's get right into it. I did create a free uh, training piece, a PDF that goes with this training. So at the end of the live, you're gonna be able to download that and then, like I said, the month of July is going to be all about social media and lead gen. So that means that each week I'm going to be doing something like this. And on the 23rd, I have a challenge starting, which I'm so excited about. Let me talk to you briefly about the challenge. I want to invite you uh, to grow your social media, attract more clients, make more sales, and do it all in a way that feels super authentic to you. So I'm going to be doing a four day challenge where you're going to be able to literally with me walking you through the steps, create a purpose driven, uh, driven marketing strategy so that you can do all of this even when we're not working together. You know what I mean? Like let's go through the four days, create a blueprint, a map for success so that you can uh, engage with your tribe, make more sales and grow your following. Okay. So I'm going to give you more information about that at the end. Uh, there will be a link that you'll be able to click. I believe if you grab the PDF from here, you're going to get a message and then you will be able to subscribe for the challenge right there. So let's jump into it. Social media. Thank you for the hearts and likes guys. I love, 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 love to see it. All right. So how do you become a social media rock star? How do you grow your following? How do you find the right people? Where are your people? What platform should you be posting on? When we think about social media, of course, some of the things that you might be thinking about are Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Google Plus. Uh, what else is there? Oh my gosh, there's so Twitter, right? So we need to know where our clientele, where is your tribe? Where are the, your peeps? Where are they hanging out? And so that's going to come down to a few things that are super specific, like their demographic. So who are you selling to? Typically, you're not going to find uh, Gen X, like, you know, the millennials on Facebook. They're just not there. I mean, they might be there if they're doing business, but they're not there. 
Uh, you might find them more likely on Instagram or Snapchat. You might also find them on YouTube. So those are three places that you would want to look. If you're looking for people, you know, 35 plus, Facebook is going to be your go-to, Facebook and Instagram. So we need to look at the demographic of who it is that you're talking to and where they like to hang out. Pinterest is a phenomenal, phenomenal tool. When you post on Pinterest, it stays there forever and people are constantly repinning your content. It is a really, really cool thing to be able to do for your business. And so just know that um, when you're looking at where you should be posting, I don't want you trying to build your platform on 50 different places. You need to pick a few places. For me, my focus is Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Those are the three play. I play around with Snapchat mostly to snap with my kids and stuff, and I have a little bit of fun there. But really, the three platforms that I'm going to focus on over the next 12 months, and that's what I would recommend you guys make a plan for the next 12 months. And we're going to get into that in the challenge. But what can you do over the next 12 months to en create engagement, create content that matters to your tribe, and sell more product or services so that you can make more money? Because at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. So meaning you want to connect in a way that's meaningful so that people know you, like you, and trust you. So where are they hanging out? What are your platforms that you should be on? And we're going to get into that really all, you know, quite deeply in the challenge. But the document that you're going to get, the free PDF, is going to give you some guidelines for which platforms the ages are on, what they might be hanging out, uh, you know, that kind of thing It's going to be in that document when you grab that PDF. Now, the second thing is where, uh, once you figure out who you're talking to, right? Like what's the demographic? What's the age? Where do they hang out? What kinds of things they like to do? The next thing is what platform are they on and what is going to be the best medium to reach them? Of course, we know that video is the most powerful form of communication right now. It is a very big deal that you guys learn to start to do lives. I uh, learn to start to do video. I know it's overwhelming. I am going to be doing a techie a uh, bit portion on how to do a live professionally and really be able to create that traction that you're looking for uh, so that you don't feel like an idiot or an amateur, but you can actually be proud of the product that you're producing and you can look for that in the coming days. But for right now, I don't care if you have an iPhone and you're doing lives. If you guys look back on my page, you know, this setup, this studio I've got now, but when I started, you can see I've got uh, videos that have 12,000 views that it was me and an iPhone on a beach. Like, you know, so it really doesn't matter. It does matter that you start though. Here's why. Video is so powerful for communication and you can now do it on Instagram, of course, Snapchat, you can do it on Facebook and YouTube. So those are four platforms where you can take the same video and repurpose that content, which we will also talk about uh, as we go through this month, how do you create the, the amount of content that you need without killing yourself? Because I know in the beginning it's quite overwhelming uh, to think that you need to have eight to ten posts to be able to put on two different platforms a day and have them scheduled is a really, really overwhelming thing. I totally get it. Now, when you're talking about who, the who, I'm just going to pull up the document, guys, because I want to make sure that we're going through this in a way that's super um, cohesive for you. So like I said, number one is, you know, where you should be posting depending on them. Is it a visual? You know, is it pictures? Is it like Twitter is more words, right? It's not so visual. LinkedIn is another phenomenal platform that if you're a, a service provider or a coach, you should be on that platform. Um, I'm going to be doing a LinkedIn training coming up, which I'm so excited about. Um, but you guys understand that when you are looking at the platforms, you want to choose two and focus on those two. And in the document, you're going to find in the free PDF, you're going to find it broken down and also targeted for who and what kind of content you should be posting. Number two is the what. So what should you be posting and how often? That's a big, big question, right? And there's a lot of different ideas out there. Um, and I go through phases. Remember, business is cyclical. You'll hear me say that a lot, but consistency is key. Business is cyclical, but consistency is key. And I fall down this area. You're going to fall down too, maybe in this area. Don't worry. Just get back on the horse and do it again. So if you can, uh, if you can be the person that, um, you know, is able to create consistency with your content, you're going to find you're going to get a lot more traction 
and you're also going to get a lot more um, power in your relationships, which is also super, super important. So when we look at what we should be posting and how often we should be posting, here's a good rule of thumb, okay? I want to give you just some basic guidelines. And of course, um, as we go through the month of July, we'll be getting more in depth into this, but I want to give you guys an overview today of what that could look like. It's a good idea to do three branding posts a day. That means like, you know, your thoughts, your life posts, your plans, your quotes, your stories, your videos, anything that will make anybody smile or laugh is very powerful or create an emotion. Stay away from negative stuff. Don't engage with political or, you know, controversial topics, you know, unless that's your gig. I mean, if you're a activist, then, a, you know, post away. But if you don't want to create uh, negative feelings on your Facebook page, then I would stay away from that stuff completely. I would much more rather see you post stuff that makes people feel happy and uplifted. Most people have enough stress in their life. They don't need you beacon off about whatever it is that you believe. And it's not that the thing that you think or talking about isn't important. It's just that people have enough stress already. They don't need you to help them, right? Um, and then two inspirational things is always good. Again, those can be testimonies from you know clients that you have. You know, if I was in the weight loss business, I would be posting before and afters and telling their story. If I was a real estate agent, I would show the, you know, family that was looking for a home, couldn't find one, and then I helped them. If I was a car salesman, the before and after the person buying the car or them purchasing the car, the handshake, the keys being turned over, whatever it is, a testimony. And you guys will see on my business page, I interview clients that have had crazy success. You know, I try to find clients that have increased their income, you know, and created momentum in their businesses, in their sales, whatever it is. And then I do a, an interview with them. First of all, it gives them the, you know, leg up, like it gives them a platform and it, and it, it, it celebrates their success, which is really, really important. But then it also gives social proof to the people that I'm trying to attract saying, hey, like I'm not just saying I know what I'm doing, I actually know what I'm doing, right? So those testimonies or inspirational posts are super important and two a day is completely, uh, you know, acceptable. And then two future posts, like what would your life look like? Like, can you imagine asking them? So I put in the document, can you imagine 12 months from now reviewing your business goals and seeing your big goals and where you could be if you had the right, uh, whatever plan, skill set, etc. And what would it be? What would the one thing that you would do differently or have differently or, or accomplish be post in the comments below? I really want to know. So that creates the engagement. Now, the other thing is when you're posting and people are liking or commenting, it's very important to get in there and comment back, right? Because that creates traction. And we're going to talk about another thing that you can stop doing on Facebook right now. Actually, let's just talk about it right now because I just brought it up. We may as well just get it out of the way. Um, one of the things that you need to be really aware of is when you're on Facebook and you're scrolling or you're on Instagram, more Facebook, but when you're scrolling and you're not interacting or you're liking and you're not commenting, you're actually hurting yourself. The, the Facebook algorithm then says, hey, wait a second, you're not really an engaged user. You're more of a looky-loo. You don't really you know, care about the, the posts there. You're just looking to see what's going on. So it's important, and if you want more traction, more interaction, it's important that you stop, you like, you love, you comment on other people's stuff. Then those people start to see your stuff. But when you're not, if you're just hitting like, that doesn't count. You need to put more than three words in the comments below. And when you're asking for a call to action, a, a call and response, meaning you guys, if you want to know what I'm about to say, I want you to type, I want to know in the comments below. I'm not going to tell you what you need to stop doing until you post in the comments, I want to know, and then wait and allow people to comment. Here's why. Because it has to be more than three words or Facebook penalizes you. And they don't, it's not like there's people sitting there penalizing you. It's just the algorithms recognize that one word responses, call to actions are not really engagement, right? So you want to be posting, try to do two or three words or more and make sure that if that person responds back to you, you respond back to them again. Why? The more interaction that you do, the more the algorithm says, hey, this person's highly engaged, the more people are going to see your stuff. So that's just a free little tip, you guys. 
um, and make sure that you post pictures of what's going on in your life. So for example, you know, here I am doing a Facebook Live, so I could just simply grab my camera and I could flip the camera around or actually even better, I could do this and take a picture of me being live and then post that to my Facebook page or my Instagram or whatever. Now what that does, it allows people to see behind the scenes and people love behind the scenes, right? They wanna see what it is that you're working on, et cetera. So whether you're going to an event or you're speaking at events, you're attending an event, another great tip you guys is when you're at events, do live videos because the sound and the action and the stuff, although this is a nice setting, that creates um, curiosity that people are like, oh, what's she up to? Or what are they up to? What is he up to? So take happy photos, make sure the lighting is good. Don't take, you know, photos like, you know, 14 double chins. Don't do that. Um, you know, like there's always a way to make yourself look good and you want to do that because people, um, genetically were wired to look at things that are pretty, right? So, and I'm not saying, you know, you have to be perfect. I'm saying that you know, you have a good angle and a bad angle, so pay attention. Now, no, step number three uh, for effective is knowing um, social media posting or building your social media in an effective way so you're not wasting your time, is knowing when to post. There's a couple of keys uh, that you can find uh, on, you can find it, I put them in the document, you guys, but I mean, check it out in your own time zones. I'm gonna use my time zones. The best time for me to post uh, is I'm Pacific Standard Time, right? So 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Facebook. If I post later or earlier than that, I get less traction or less engagement. On, um, let's see, Pinterest, it would be 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Now, that's interesting, right? So opposite of Facebook, Facebook, I don't really wanna post after three, but Pinterest, I, I wanna post after three. And with Pinterest, once you post it there, it's like a blog post, it never goes away. So people repost it, repost it, and you get into other people's networks. So it's important if you are a, a product or a service provider to be doing that. Of course, uh, uh, Instagram, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. is a great time to do that, unless you're a millennial, and then, you know, that just is all the time. Um, and with Instagram, it takes a little bit more work, but it's totally worth it. So just know that you wanna know when your tribe is online, where you're posting. Each platform has its best practices for posting and interaction, and we are gonna dive more into that in the challenge for sure, but also as we are um, you know, going through the month of July talking about social media. This is like a 30,000 foot view. Like I want you guys to get a bigger idea of the, the enormity or the opportunity of social media, and then we're gonna get into super specific topics. Uh, leading up to the challenge, and then the challenge, you're gonna come up with a social media plan, which I'm so excited about. Uh, that's actually gonna increase sales, which is good. All right, the fourth step is, again, who are you talking to? And the key word there is talking to. This is not, social media is not a place for you to be posting. So what I wanna know from you guys, I'm just gonna open up my Facebook on my phone because the way I'm doing this, I can't see your comments. But tell me, you guys, what are your social media questions? I want to know. What do you need to know? What is your product or service? And what do you need to know about selling it? Go ahead, post in the comments below. So if I go on here, I can see that I have all kinds of posts. I'm going to go in and interact with these after so that you guys can get your questions answered. So I, because I want to be able to actually have a conversation with you. It's not about me talking at you. It's about me finding out what you need and delivering that in a way that you can then apply it to your life. So remember asking for feedback, uh, responding to questions, having the conversation. I love polls. I love doing polls. Like if, you know, if I, again, weight loss is easy because people get it in their minds really quickly, but we could be talking about real estate. Like. I could go on and say, if there's one thing you wanted to know about real estate from me, maybe real estate investing, would it be, you know, rental income, cash flow, finding tenants, and I would post the five or six things that I would want to teach, and then I would let you guys respond, and then I would deliver content to your responses, right? It's so simple. I asked you guys what you wanted. You said social media, then you said lead gen, then you said closing sales. Well, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna run a challenge that hits all three, right? Like, how do we do social media for lead generation to close more sales? 
So again, in a four day challenge, we can't come away with exactly what to do, but we can come away with a very good idea with a plan and be able to expand on that as we move forward. And I, that's the conversation I want to have with you guys. And this year is going to be all about at melaniegreeno.com, growing your businesses, no matter what your business is. I want to help you make more sales, create more leads, et cetera, and really get the, the positioning in the marketplace that allows you to be the expert in whatever field you're in. And then finally, step number five for growing your social media with ease is knowing how to create good content. Now, if you have an iPhone, they do for video, or well, or a Samsung, whatever, they do pretty good video now. Uh, these headphones are just Apple headphones, but you can get whatever good headphones plug them into your phone. It's a good idea. I tuck it under my shirt so I don't have this white string, you know, hanging down. Um, but the then there's, you know, you could do your computer for a video. You can have a camera like I have. It just depends on what you guys, you know, what level you're at and you can scale that as you go. Um, but don't get caught up on the tech if you're doing video. Just start doing it. Well light, you can get a ring light. Um, those are, you know, they're a couple hundred bucks. But honestly, you guys, oh, they're not here. I, I have two lamps from Ikea that are they're the big white headed lamps that you can uh, adjust the head like this. And I usually have them sitting behind my computer. And the reason I do that is because when I'm doing Zooms or business meetings, I don't want to have all my lights on in my studio, but I turn those on and they light just like this. So, and those lamps are like 20 bucks each or 25 bucks each at Ikea. So it doesn't have to be a big fancy studio, but it does need to be well lit. And of course, you guys can go on Amazon and get stuff pretty cheap now. So just know that for video, it's important to have the tools that you need as well as for um, like what we call flat posts or meaning there's no video or live component, you can go to canva.com. Canva.com is like a, you know, a, who, uh, creation tool for dummies. It's so easy. Drag and drop. You can upload pictures. It's got fonts, preset colors, pre preset templates, all kinds of stuff. I love canva.com. There's also, of course, PicMonkey in a bunch of different places. You can get free pictures. And if you find somebody that you love their social media, copy it. And I don't mean steal it. I mean, copy the feel of it, copy the idea of it. A really great thing for you to do is to make a list of 20 inspirational quotes or create a folder on your computer where every time you see something, you're like, wow, I really love that, drag and drop it in there and then create something like that, right? We don't want to be stealing people's stuff, but you, the point of us working together as a community is being inspired by each other, right? So there's some people that are doing some really cool stuff on social media right now, and I would take advantage of that. So that is tip number five. You want to build good content. Now, we're going to be getting into all the other stuff that goes along with social media, like I said, in the month of July. But I want to give you guys a big overview. So let's recap very, very quickly. Number one, where are your people? Are they What platform are they on? And where should you be posting? Very important. Number two, um, and make sure you guys know what kind of medium you should be posting. Is it video? Is it flat? Is it, what is it that that platform is going to receive the best? Num which by the way, almost all of them now is video, but start where you start and you don't want to do eight videos a day, right? Don't be silly. We want to do a video a couple times a week and then have some uh, content in between some of the other posts. Number two, what should you be posting? some branding posts, some inspirational posts, some future posts, asking them to engage, making sure we're going to the comments and asking for that feedback. Of course, we want some behind the scenes pictures so people can see what you're up to. Uh, no matter what you do, people love to see that. Number three, of course, is knowing when you should post, having a schedule. It's very important you schedule social media. Otherwise, it will suck you dry. Like, right? So you don't want to do that. You don't want to be on Facebook. Have you got the Facebook trap? We call it the vortex. You go on and an hour later, two hours later, you're like, the time's gone. You didn't do anything for your business, but rather you were doing whatever it is that you were doing. So schedule your social media and knowing when to post is very important. Of course, then having the conversation. And we're going to get into in the challenge, we're going to get into purpose-driven marketing a lot. You're going to identify your purpose, how to communicate, create a message for your following that's really going to help you um, go to the next level with your content, with your ideas, with how you do business. Um, and what I'm most excited about, it's going to take the sales out of it. All of a sudden, you're going to be attracting people that want to buy from you and really creating that following with ease, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And number five, of course, is 
creating good content and knowing how to do that. And we are going to be getting into that as well. So, uh, but obviously go to canva.com, start practicing with video, get yourself some proper lighting. If you are going to do video, practice on canva.com, start making some stuff. And you guys know that it's okay to be bad before you're good. And it's okay to know that you have to start before you can even get good. Like you can't, you got to be, how does that go? You got to start before you can be bad. You got to be bad before you can be good. You got to be good before you're great. So the key is starting. And most people just don't start. Uh, the number one thing that I want you guys to take away from the month of July here uh, at melanagrino.com is that you need to have a list. You need to build a list. You need to be building your following. You need to have a list. Why? Because those people are going to connect with you in a way that's purposeful and then it makes sales effortless. And that's what I want for you. I want for your business to grow. I want you to make more money. I want you to learn how to really engage with people in a way that doesn't feel salesy or pushy, but rather you can create, you know, share your purpose, your passion, and your love for whatever it is that you're doing. And that will attract the people that want to buy. And, you know, we are going to get into sales, of course, and do some of that other stuff, but just know that you can do it. Now, finally, I want to say in the PDF that you're going to click the link below to get the PDF. There is a bonus 20 smart social media tips for everyday use. And it's just 20 things to look out for uh, and to use so that it's a bonus little you know, package. Normally, it's not included in this PDF, but I wanted to give it to you guys today so that we could kick off this month with a boom on social media and how to use it and how to grow your tribe and how to create more sales and all of that. So go ahead, click the link below. You're going to be able to get that um, PDF. It will take just a few minutes to get it up there. So I will be posting it if Heidi hasn't already. Um, and I just want to give you a shout out. If this was valuable to you, can you give me a like or a heart? I'd like to see, comment what your takeaway was. It's important to me that we do engage as I'm building up the social media training. I want to know what you guys' questions are. And the more transparent you are with me, the better the content I can deliver. It really is all about you. So if you want to grow your page, if you want to get more likes, if you want to create more sales, if you want more reach, if you want more engagement, you want to make sure that you're tuning in to my uh, business page, which is Melanie Greeno now on Facebook. Also, you're going to want to click the link that says join the group, I think, or learn more. I think it's join the group. But anyways, there is a link on my uh, Facebook page to get into my free community where we are doing all kinds of extra stuff. So, which is very cool and the challenge is going to live there. So if you want to be a part of that, you can go ahead and click that link. So with that, you guys be blessed, have the best day you've ever had, grab that PDF, make sure you comment, give me a heart, give me a like, and we will be talking to you soon. Bye for now. Hope it helped you guys. I love, love, love being able to engage with you in a way that truly matters to you. So be blessed. We'll talk to you soon.